Hi, how are you? Fanny Martinez Neal, author and illustrator. And I'm here. This is uh, my follow up email to the Vibrate story. So I'm here to answer your questions about Vibrate, a Native American family story written by my great friend Kevin Novomeller, illustrated by me. The first question is comes from grade two readers and writers in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Thank you for sending your questions. So the first question is How did you learn to draw? And I draw i learned to draw by doing so i would draw all the time and then the, the more i did it the better i got and the easier it got to draw but i can tell you that even now there are things that are very difficult to draw for me and i have to just work really hard to do it some things come very like i can think about uh let's say a dog and i'll do it I can close my eyes or I can just draw and it just works. Some other things I need to actually look at what is called reference material. So you look at, for example, if you were to think of a carriage and then I have to go and look at pictures of carriages because I don't have it in my head. I don't know exactly how they work, how they are built, how they operate. So I need to look at the reference and then I get all that information in my head and then I draw it. And probably the first one will not be very good, but the more carriages I draw, the better they get. So sometimes I will have these sketches and I will be, let's say, drawing crows. And I have all these crows and the more crows I do, the better they look. The more they look like my crows and not just for any crow that you will look, that looks less real and more my own. So here, how long did it take you to illustrate the book? Yeah, about two years. I got that first email saying, Juana, we have this story that we think you might like. Um, I got that first email in June of 2016. Then I started sketching in around October of 2017. And then I delivered the artwork, so the actual paintings, because I sent my artwork. I don't make it in the computer, I make it all by hand. So a year later, in October 2018, around October 2018, I sent the actual final art. Next question, how did you come up with the ideas for each page? And um, what I do is I get the words, I break it into pieces, because it's, at the beginning it looks more like a letter. <laughs> it's all together, but I find my pacing. I find the places where I, the images that I want to show and that will be a double spread. Um, and then I reread those words several times and I think about those words. And ideas will come to my head and I will make these little tiny drawings that are called thumbnails about that illustrate what I'm thinking. So sometimes I will have several thumbnails, several little drawings for the same spread. And from those, I will pick what I think will work better as a group. Because in a book, you don't work on just one sketch. You work with all the ideas and all the illustrations, one after the other. Because we're flipping pages and looking at the whole book. Next question is, why did you decide to become an illustrator? Um, because did nothing makes me as happy as as illustrating when I'm drawing and I, when I'm painting I am really 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 happy and if I'm sure that you will find when you rub you will find something that makes you as happy and I hope that you follow your heart and that's what you do for the rest of your life that will be wonderful um, what did you use to create the pictures I made my pictures with acrylics and I have these in all these different colors. I use also color pencils, which are pretty much the, the color pencils that you use. And I use brushes. And I use my paper, but it's some thick paper. So I can add different materials because I like mixing materials that I think that's the fun to me that's the fun of making books mixing mixing different things that shouldn't maybe you wouldn't think at the first time that they will go together 
So I'm always experimenting and trying new things. Now this comes from the second grade class in New Hampshire. He says, why did you make your books different from each other? Because that keeps me... Okay, so each story, it's about a different book. Each story needs new characters, needs different characters, needs a different setting. So if we're talking about, for example, Bride Red, this happens in the US. But if we talk about La Princesa, this happens in Peru. So the characters will look different and they will dress different and they will eat different things and they will have different pets and their houses will look different. And that's what makes it, to me, it makes it fun because you're creating a story. You create a world around that, that character and that story that was given to you. That's what the illustrator does. Uh, why did you decide to make some of the pictures different from the words? I think that a great picture book is one that both the words and the images may not be saying the same thing, but work together perfectly. That makes a wonderful picture book. Um, and it's hard to explain, but for example, when I got the words for La Princesa and the Pea in the book, they didn't say it happened in Peru, but I saw it in Peru. So that's a surprise for the author, because he wasn't thinking that it was going to be in the mountains of Peru. Um, but it works. It works in that, in that case. So sometimes I think... It's, an, it's nice to have surprises for the readers. I think that's what it is. It's nice to have surprises for the readers. Mm -hmm. uh, did you have a special food when you were growing up? And I said, yes. I loved, my mom cooked every day. And I will come from school around 2.30. And I was hungry, so hungry. But one thing that I loved finding was roast with, rice and mashed potatoes. But the mashed potatoes need need to be done with papa amarilla, with yellow, yellow potatoes that growing we have in Peru. Like this tiny little yellow potato and it's so good. But yeah, roast with rice and mashed potatoes. Why did you start making books? Um so I loved illustrating and Making books gave me that opportunity, so I started making books. Have you ever made a funny book? I think every book has a little bit of funny, either in the, in the drawings, if you follow the story, in the illustrations, or maybe a character, or a face, or a pose, or a situation in some way. But like funny, haha, like words funny? I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe sometimes the way the play the way I play with words and alma, like you said, pura candela, which means pure fire. If you put them together, maybe that that was kind of like a joke, inside joke for me or those who are Spanish speakers. <laughs> so I like funny. I, I really like funny. I think it's a nice way to uh, communicate message. Um, um, that could be difficult. So I like funny. How many books have you written? So I read Alma. I read. I wrote Alma. Sorry, I wrote Alma in English and in Spanish. And now I wrote La Selva de Sonia and Sonia's Rainforest. That both of those are coming in March 30th. So if you think about it, two books, two books in two languages each. Where did you think of your characters? They are all people that I know. They are either relatives, friends. People who I actually know because I love I love illustrating people who I know because then I know how they would react to certain situations and it helps me for my illustration. Now this comes from Miss Newman's in first grade and it says the question is who were all the people in the story were they friends or family are your neighbors in the story my neighbors no my neighbors are not in the story. Um, 
they are all friends and family, yes. There are my children in there, there are Kevin's children in there, there are um, some friends of mine, Kevin himself, um, me. So yeah, I always use people, I always illustrate people who I know. How did you make a fry bread bigger? And I suppose that that is for this one. And I just drew it bigger. I just made it really big because I thought it would be very pretty to show it that way. I think it's beautiful. I can have it in those all those different shapes. It was playing with, this is a matter of composition, playing with how things look on the page. And then I have a, a question, the last question, and this comes from Ethan. Thank you, Ethan. Ethan asks, when was the fry bread book made? So as I was saying, we started in 2016, then we delivered the art in 2018, and then the publisher and everybody working in the publisher, the, the copy editors, the art director, the designers, the editor, uh, all of the, there's so many people work, that work on a book, all of them started working also, continue working on it. So we were done and then it was released in October of 2019, so a year ago. It was October 22nd, so it's almost a year, almost a year ago that it was delivered. But with that, I thank you. Thank you for your questions. Uh, thank you for listening and I'll see you very soon. Bye.